Hi, my name is Allison Buse, and I'm just finishing up my internship with the Dibble Institute, which is an online uh, nonprofit organization. And I had a really good experience with my internship. And throughout this presentation, I hope to tell you a little bit more about my internship and what I did and also what I learned from my experiences there. So just a little bit of background about the Dibble Institute. They are a nonprofit organization and an online resource for teaching relationship skills to teens and young adults. And this is just a picture of the homepage uh, of their website. As you can see, they have uh, information about their programs. They have a store where they can, they sell their curriculum and they have trainings. They even have a blog where they put posts about uh, current research about the family and about relationships and how they can be successful. On their website, Dibble says that their focus is to help young people build a foundation for healthy romantic relationships now and for lasting positive family environments in the future. So their goal isn't just to prepare teens to have positive relationships now, but it's to give them the values and the foundation that will set them forward in a positive direction to have healthy relationships their whole life. And as a marriage and family studies major, this is obviously something that we really care about, uh, having successful marriages and families. So Dibble hopes to fulfill this goal by developing research-based teaching materials for schools and other youth settings, training teachers and youth instructors how to use this, these curriculums and these teaching materials. They educate policymakers and leaders on the importance of relationship education and consult on content implementation and grant proposals. So they develop these curriculums and they teach them and help people to understand how to implement them to help the teens in their communities and areas. Uh, some of the concepts that they aim to teach throughout their curriculum. This is just an example. Uh, I took this screenshot of one of the PowerPoints that I was working on about seven principles of smart relationships. That's one of the lessons that they teach. But through their programs, they aim to help you deal with their emotions, uh, understand what makes a healthy relationship, because a lot of them come from backgrounds where uh, they have only dealt with parents and, and other adults having very unhealthy relationships. So it's important to help them understand what a healthy relationship is. They also are taught to recognize dangerous relationships and when they should be careful and get out of such certain situations. They're also taught there's a few lessons about how to effectively communicate and how to avoid conflict in relationships. And I guess conflict can't really be avoided. So how to deal with conflict and how to handle it in a healthy way. Uh, they also learn about low risk dating strategies uh, and the social and emotional sides of sex. So there are programs that talk about sexual risk avoidance and how to have healthy relationships in that way. And ultimately uh, the lessons are to help teens recognize what they value and set goals for themselves so that they can have healthy relationships. How I found this internship was actually through the BYU Idaho website they have a list of marriage and family studies internships. This is just a screenshot of that list, the beginning of that list. And I had another internship lined up that ended up falling through that I wasn't able to do. And uh, when I needed to find an internship really quickly, this list was super, super helpful. And I was able to see different options and contact several of the people off of this list. One of them that I contacted was Rebecca Powell, who is the internship coordinator for Dibble Institute. And I thought that it sounded really interesting to be able to help develop this curriculum for youth and young adults. And so uh, Rebecca and I communicated about what I was looking for in an internship and what she was looking for in interns. And we were able to work it out that I was able to do this internship. So some of my job responsibilities throughout the internship, and if you are possibly going to intern with Dibble, these are some responsibilities that you would most likely have are to conduct literature searches to find research to include in future curriculums and edit and proofread the some of the Dibble programs, which I'll talk about a little bit later. That's one of the major things that I did through my internship was helping proofread and edit these programs. We also had a responsibility to recommend photos, music, and videos to accompany the concepts that are taught in the curriculum. So throughout the day, you could think about music or videos or things that uh, stand out to you that could help teach 
teens these concepts. We also had the opportunity to update the website and track website statistics and research perspective contact information for the programs and write articles for the website. Two of the curriculums that I worked on through most of my internship are the Love Notes curriculum and Relationship Smarts Plus curriculum. And both of these teach a lot of the same concepts. They teach about what you value in relationships. They talk about how to communicate effectively and effective principles for how to have a successful relationship. Uh, the only real difference is that Relationship Smarts Plus is for teens and Love Notes is for young adults. But throughout my internship, I did a lot of a lot of um, proofreading and editing of these two curriculums. As I think back on what I did to benefit Dibble, I truly feel like I left it better than I found it. And that was a goal that I had as I started out the internship. Uh, and throughout it, I was able to organize, prioritize, and work until the job was done. Those were some of my goals that I had. A few things that I did uh, to benefit them was that I was able to use my organization skills and prioritizing skills to create these spreadsheets. Uh, I did a lot of spreadsheets that tracked the possible new customers for the Dibble programs and tracked down information for them. I also tracked current business and statistics for the website. And I, did a, I made a lot of spreadsheets for Dibble that hopefully will be helpful for them throughout the coming years. I also had a large part in the revision of the Love Notes and Relationship Smarts Plus curriculums, and I was able to edit those lesson plans and PowerPoints uh, throughout my time at Dibble uh, several times just to be able to make these curriculums ready to go out and to be taught. I added pictures, and I was able to go through and, and cite more research throughout my internship that could be used to create future curriculums uh, to improve relationship skills. Not only was I able to help Dibble, but I also feel like Dibble helped me and I grew personally in several ways throughout my internship experience. One of the major things that I gained was an understanding of what it really takes to run a nonprofit organization. I hope to someday start my own blog or nonprofit and I had no idea all the different jobs and uh, different things that go into this. So it was really eye-opening to be able to see the different people and the different things that are required to make this happen. And that's knowledge that I'll definitely uh, think about as I go throughout my, my possible future career. I also was able to learn to work with others when face-to-face -face communication is not an option. With our online internship, we communicated mostly through email, and that can be a little bit tricky sometimes to get a point across and to get projects done. But as I communicated with other interns and with my coordinator, we were able to get a lot of things done. And this is a skill that I will be grateful I have for the rest of my life. I also was able to increase my time management and organization skills. And as an online intern, you don't have someone sitting over your shoulder telling you what to do all the time. And I was able to learn how to manage my own time and set my priorities so that I could get certain projects done. And I was able to do that I also, as I said, gained some insights into things that will help me in my possible future career. And I also learned knowledge about the family through working in these curriculums about relationships. And I know that this knowledge will help me in my family in the future. There were several connections that I made uh, in this internship between things I learned in my classes and also in the job field. And one thing that stood out to me a lot was that understanding the family theories is really important. When I was first learning the theories, I didn't really understand why they were important to understand families, but now I definitely see the value in it. One example of a theory that I think is really helpful is the ecological systems theory. And if you're not familiar with this theory, it essentially talks about how the environment that we surround ourselves with shapes who we are. So as you see, the individual is at the center and their family and peers are most important uh, to be, who they become. And it goes outward to our society and our culture. Those affect us as well in smaller ways, but they also really affect us. 
And as I thought about the, the teens who take part in this curriculum, they, uh, who they are is very much determined by their school environment and their family environment. And developing this curriculum, uh, it was really insightful for me to think about how we could create an environment in the school setting throughout these teaching these curriculums that would help them to become people who value strong relationships. And this is something that uh, can be helpful as you think about future um, creating curriculums or being a therapist, many different careers. These theories can help us to understand how families work and how we can help mend broken relationships and broken families. If you're in the process of trying to find an internship, I definitely think that the Dibble Institute would be a good one to consider. Here's a few pros and cons that I thought about with the internship. Some good things about it. There's definitely flexible hours. I work during the day, and so it was really nice to be able to do my hours for my internship in the evening when I had more free time. You can also work from any location. Obviously, it's an online internship, and so doesn't matter where you are, you can uh, get your projects done. The people that you work with are very kind. The people who work for Dibble, as well as other interns that you communicate with, are very kind and easy to work with, and uh, they're really good at explaining things if you don't totally understand. Uh, the tasks that you do as an intern for Dibble can be really exciting and interesting. If you uh, have an interest in writing curriculum or starting a nonprofit organization, this may be something that you would be really interested in. And you also can learn a lot about yourself as you work independently on projects. There's not a whole lot of interaction with other people, but you can learn a lot about who you are as a person and your work ethic. A few cons that I thought about with the internship is obviously it doesn't involve working with a lot of people face to face. If you want to be working with families, uh, and, and helping people, counseling, this probably isn't the internship for you. But if you want to help people by creating writing and curriculum, this may be something that you would really want to do. Uh, the tasks also can occasionally be a little monotonous as you're editing and proofreading a lot of different material that's very similar. At times it can be monotonous. Other times it can be really exciting. It just depends on the day. Uh, and it can be a little bit harder to communicate through email um, than it is to do face-to-face. -face. But ultimately, the good outweighs the bad in, in this case. Um, this internship really taught me a lot, and I'm grateful for the experience that I had. In, in if you are interested in possibly doing an internship with the Dibble Institute, they're always looking for interns. And they love BYU-Idaho students as well. You can contact the internship coordinator and special product projects editor for Dibble, Rebecca Powell, and here's her email listed here. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thanks.